Captain Sharp Raleigh for another video on uh, immigration and uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about U-Visa. First, what is a U-Visa and also how it relates to people who are either students, undocumented or people who are on H-4 visas. Um, the U-Visa is, 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 is a very good visa if you basically qualify for it. Uh, the U visa is given to people who are victims of uh, of certain crimes, and it's not all the crimes who have suffered substantial physical or mental abuse as a result of the criminal activity, and also who possesses credible and reliable information concerning the criminal uh, activity, and has been helpful to the law enforcement. And uh, basically, uh, bottom line here. What they are looking for is someone who has been victim of certain crimes and I'm going to list some of those crimes here uh, in a minute but um, and also people who have actually suffered for example someone who was victim of a of an assault with a deadly weapon and they have definitely most of those people will suffer and uh, have suffered some physical and even a mental abuse because they have a big gun pointed at them or some other weapon and um, they have good information on this what has happened basically they are the witness and they actually help the law enforcement those people can get a U visa the good thing about the U visa is it allows you to basically get um, if you qualify for it and uh, it's a two-part process first you have to get it certified by the law enforcement and two file it with the USCIS once it's filed Right now, it's taking around one and a half year to two years to get it because there is a quota of ten thousand, and the quota has been reached already. And um, if you are basically you qualify for for the U visa, you ultimately will get a work permit. And after three years of that work permit, you can file for a green card. And the good thing with the U visa, you can also have entered United States and lawful uh, basically. Uh, iwi what we used to call iwi without inspection and um, you can just file for a waiver for that you can be a student you can be an h4 visa holder recently we had many cases unfortunately of domestic violence for h4 visa holders who ultimately been abused by their spouses and that ha applies to men and women and um, because of that, they were able to get what we call a U visa. And if they are an H4 and the H4 is valid, you don't even need a waiver. So I'll give you examples. We have obtained a U visa recently. One of them was uh, recently was someone who was abused at work. Now, by the way, Department of Labor is also signing on those U visas. So you should look into that. We just got one approved, actually. And we got another one approved where the person was was attacked because of of uh, his uh, his or her belief and uh, basically a hate crime and also uh, like I said there are many many um, other kind of, of criminal activities where that this person uh, if you are a victim of that you may be eligible for for a U visa. Um, we had situations, for example, where people come and see me, they don't even know about the U visa and they are fearful because they were a witness or basically a victim of a crime and the police came and they are worried about being deported. But the truth is, is that because of exactly that crime, these people were able to get a U visa and ultimately now we're going to file for their green card. And here, if you look at it here on this website, h 4 ed where I wrote an article about the H4 and the U visa, you will see the list of all the crimes that pretty much now they have kind of extended it when it comes also to, they have not really extended it, but they have kind of used the same categories for Department of Labor to kind of be giving a chance to those people who are victims of, of their employers. Unfortunately, many employers are abusive. They kind of do things which are not right. And ultimately, you can get a U visa because it can be certified by the Department of Labor. By the way, most of the time, the U visas are certified by the police, FBI, or law enforcement, or the DA. But in this case, now, Department of Labor. So 
for those people who are abu uh, being abused under H1B um, and, uh, and uh, for example, or I had clients who came to me as far working on far as farmers where they are being abused by the employers. If they put a complaint, they might be eligible for what we call the the U visa certification. And few of the examples are here, as you can see: sexual assault, domestic violence, rape, trafficking, kidnapping, torture, f female genital mutilation, prostitution, incest, abusive sexual contact, sexual exploitation, hostage situation peonage, extortion, that's what they have been kind of using a lot um, recently for the Department of Labor, slave trade, false imprisonment, involuntary servitude, perjury or attempt, conspiracy, abduction, blackmail, blackmail is a big one, manslaughter, murder, felonious assault, witness tampering, obstruction of justice, unlawful criminal restraint or solicitation to commit any of the mentioned uh, above mentioned crime. Solicitation means basically if you're calling on someone to do any of those crimes that we have listed there, you might be eligible for U visa. As I mentioned, the U visa is very powerful and we are very proud of the team who pretty much have gotten all our U visas approved. We had situations back where even we were having issues uh, and um, even cases that happened long time ago, we we have been able to use that to get people a U visa certification and ultimately a U visa and many times people don't know um, a lot of people come to the United States and law basically by crossing the border and even they're married to a US citizen they don't get uh, their green card but under the U visa with a waiver you can get it as well as VAWA of course but I'm not talking about VAWA here I'm talking about only, only the U visa so if you need help with the U visa please give us a call at 510-742-5887. By the way, we have a very nice article on H4 to EAD, wwwh 4 to EAD on the H4 visa and the U visa. Please read it. I'm going to put a link at the bottom of this YouTube. And feel free to post your comments or even your questions at the bottom of this uh, YouTube. It helps us kind of get ideas which topics you want to talk about you want us to talk about and I will be glad to answer this is Atene Shapir Ali signing off and uh, anything I told you today is for educational purposes only you should not act or refrain to act solely on the information provided you should contact an attorney if you have any question thank you very much until the next video I say goodbye